Uh, he came back and he just came up to me. He's like, hello. And I'm like, hi. Um, and he's like, okay, are you, are, you know, are you Hikaru? And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, I watch your stream. And then I'm like, okay, cool. Nice. And, um, and then I said to him, uh, if you just, you know, wait like five minutes, wait till I check out, I'll, you know, I'll give, I'll give you a picture or whatever you want. And he's like, okay. And, and then, and then like five minutes later, I go to check out, but he was like, he wasn't there, which was really sad. I'm obviously going to play this in the candidates. Because <laughs> to uh, take, take some center. No, I mean, it's not all about the first move, you guys. It's, it depends, like, the first two to three moves. Um, so, yeah. I think this is, he knows this is me, actually. Whoa, thank you, CW55CW, for the 10 gifted. Thanks so much to CW55CW. Thank you for the 10 gifted subs. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Um, thank you to a Thurwood for the sixth. Thank you, Godex Mamba for the 13th. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Speedrun rules are basically if I play an opening by accident that I end up playing the candidates, I'm gifting 500 subs to chat. So we're going to try to avoid playing openings on playing the candidates. Or, of course, I can just mess with everyone and not care about 500 subs and simply uh, simply try to throw everyone off and then play all of these openings in the, in the candidates. Just depends. Oh! I'm still going to win, but oh dear. Okay, let's play 95. <laughs> I guess knights do move backwards. It's kind of hard to know how knights move sometimes. Yeah, you got to learn how the horses move. Let's play Rick D1 here. Yeah. Yeah. Wrong speed run, Hikaru. Yes, wrong speed run. Exactly. Let's go here and attack the pawn of B6. I'm too old for this too, right? Yeah. Let's go here. Disaster. Absolute disaster. Okay, now I take, I take, and I take. So here, bishop e5 next move. As always, such a privilege to watch you play bullet car. Always an experience. Yeah, it was more of an experience back when I was actually good at it, but I still try to entertain people time to time. From time to time, I, I still try. Um, let's go bishop e5, trades and pieces. Mod should adjust the background. I mean, it's it's just the way the cams cam is. I mean, I can obviously cut the I can cut the cam differently um, to make it look better. Thank you to the Jimmy Butler for the three hundred. But thanks so much, Jimmy Butler. Hope all is well in Miami, my man. Go here and take. Am I better than Cornelius Magnus? Probably Cornelius Magnus. Yes, Magnus Owen, Savan Carlson. I think that I think that's how many names he has. Technically, probably not. Uh, let's go check. Take the knight. And we're gonna do the mate with the um, how many? How many? Uh, how many of these ponies? Am I tired of winning? No, I'm not going to win every game. He's actually trying to not let me get all the knights, so.
All right, now I just bring the ponies back. I guess I'll go check and mate. It's an easy one. Let's keep going. The Six Knights candidates prep, exactly. Now, what am I not going to play in the candidates? Um, I don't think I'm going to play B6. Well, against D4, B6 is kind of... Or C4, B6 is kind of okay. I don't think I'm playing B6, Bishop, B7. That was like Ar Arwen running from the ring. That's true. That was a good Lord of the Rings reference. All right, let's play D5. Consolidate the position here. More knights? It's kind of hard to get 10 knights. I've never had 10 horses. Yeah, so again, very solid opening so far by me. Do you predict enemies' movements or do you play reactive? Both. And Bullet is uh, and Bullet is especially reactive. I need a moist potato for the four months. Thank you so much. I like I like seeing men running through sprinklers. Good thing no one's gonna see this. What? Excuse me, what? Let's play E697. Come again? Jesus. Okay, um, alright. What is this P1 token? This is from a smash. It's gonna IPD7. <laughs> Jeez, okay. Uh, that's a free pawn. <laughs> uh, Dingler is in the Canada's tournament, but he's not qualified yet. <laughs> what was that? I agree. Yeah, what was that? Well, it's, it's a resub, you guys. So on a resub, of course, I'm gonna see it. Like, it's a resub. Like, I mean, there's someone who's spending their hard-earned $5 every month to resub, so of course I'm going to read it. <laughs> I mean, why wouldn't I? Nice layout. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Let's go B5. Let's just attack. Yay! Kirby's pretty decent. Thank you, Dr. Ferris, for the 8. Dr. Ferris just took $5 out of Bezos' pocket. Thanks. What's the normal amount of trouser stone? I don't know, but I did buy some dress shoes at uh, Bloomingdale's yesterday. Um, I guess I'll take the knight here. Should be pretty decent here. No, I didn't buy the pineapple shoes, you guys. We got to get get to eight thousand subs. Until we get to eight thousand subs, um. I can't buy the pineapple shoes. No, I just bought some regular black uh, black uh, dress shoes. They were like $120, I think. I just went to the mall yesterday and bought some, so yeah. Bloomingdale's where Rachel worked? Yeah. Yeah. Inflation on the Anana shoes is running... Wait, are you serious? No, it's still 433 right? Or did the price change again? No, it's still 433 Never mind. All right, I guess I can take. I can also just go Queen G5 here to hit the knight. Don't you think chess journalists need to find better questions when they interview players? Um, Very tough. Very tough to come up with better questions. I mean, it's, it's very difficult. If you're not, say... I will say this. I thought the FIDE guy, Michael Rahal, who was at the first event, because he's actually an IM, I thought a lot of his chess-specific questions were very, very good. Um... But if you're not already at a very high level, asking the players questions about the game, it can also become kind of like insulting and also a little bit weird, frankly. So it's very difficult. But I did feel that at the end of the Berlin event when the journalist was asking us about the draw and you know, do we feel bad about people spending money to come watch the game? I mean, on the one hand, yes, but it's it's the it's the fault of the format. But the problem is there's a, there's almost always going to be a problem with every format that you have in chess. You just won 20k how much do they cost well i have to spend money on trainers for the candidates i'm spending some money on a supercomputer so uh more more than more than the amount of money i made in the uh in the um in the berlin tournament is uh, being spent just so you guys realize that i'm actually being serious about the tournament i'm not like taking it as a joke all right what am i gonna play i'm gonna keep, stick to b6 for a little bit let's go bishop b7 here you, you, you need to spend money to make money. No, you need to invest money to make dividends, which makes money. And knight f6 here. Okay, he goes knight b5. I like his style, trying to cheese me with knight c7. Very, very standard. Am I going to stream with Tariq? Yeah, I think in about uh, eight days, about a week or so, we're going to do some kind of collab. I don't know what exactly, but we'll do chess, and maybe, maybe I'll show off my very pathetic Valorant skills while I'm at it. 
Although I have to say it's crazy. Actually, I was I, I was watching a little bit of little bit of Valorant, and even when you watch Valorant, it's crazy. I'm not I'm not any good at the game, but when you see players who are like really good, like elite level, versus players who are just good at the game, it's kind of crazy. Like I was watching um. I was watching tens and like his gameplay in Valorant was like it was so ridiculously good compared to compared to what I saw like on any other any other just regular big time streamer playing Valorant. It's just like not comparable. Yeah, I mean, I, I know. I mean, he's just like really freaking good. But like when I saw, it, I was like, it was like, wow, this guy like. It's just like chess. Well, it's just when you see like the difference in the skill level, it's kind of crazy. When you see someone like hens or tens versus um versus just like someone who's like immortal or something okay i can take and go knight c3 here fork the queen and the rook it's very very good you are far more impressive i thought tens was actually i thought tens was one of the best out there at the moment but maybe i'm wrong i thought tens was like literally one of the best i mean isn't he on sentinels go here and attack the rook checkmate next game let's keep going he is but you are too okay let's play uh knight of six of course i'm not gonna play knight of six in the candidates right i mean it's not a very good first move now my man stops me from playing the budapest gambit so i have to find some other gambit um i guess what can i not play in the candidates my you know what? i'm not gonna play the two po two uh pukas uh two pukas um uh the two pukas tango this is called the two knights tango so i'm obviously not going to play the two knights tango in the canon so i do play the two knights tango you guys i will be gifting 500 subs to the community thank you to knife res for the seven months thank you so much let's go bishop d6 so the benoni is on the table huh who knows what's on the table let's just trade and go here can i try to get at the knack manson gambit of course i can absolutely Okay, let's just castle here. Keep going. I can play c5, maybe bishop b7, just open up all the diags here. I really do like my position. Let's go here. Oh, sentinels didn't qualify. Okay. Thank you so much to Michael Sheffenacker for the gifted sub. Thank you so much to Michael Sheffenacker. Appreciate it. Okay, this guy's got good skills for an 800. Doing the rook lift, understanding the pawn structure, very impressive play. Eric played the two knights tango in his recent match. Aha, 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 okay. I guess I'll just go here, maybe g5. I don't know if I like this, but it's what it is. This is some god level trolling for the cans. Well, you never know, you guys. I might, you know, this could be intentional. I could be trolling Fabiano and everybody else. I'm like, okay, I'm not going to play this opening. And then I'm like, aha, they assume that 500 subs is, you know, it's a lot of money. I, I can't, you know, just get 500 subs for 14 different uh, openings. But hey, if, they, if they're completely caught off guard and I win the candidates, uh, nobody cares about $30,000 because I will play a world championship match for probably two to three million dollars. Let's see what he does. Nasdaq almost negative. I haven't been, I haven't done anything in the markets at all this week. But yes, it looks like everything went everything went to shy some. Everything went pretty bad. Yeah, not 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 very attractive. Yeah, looking like a pretty blood day. Let's go C2 and Queen D1. Check pawn guards the queen. Wesley is watching. Yeah, the problem is Wesley's not playing the candidates. Why are you doing this universe thing? Whatever, dudes. Chill. Imagine all the GM seconds that may be sitting through these sessions. Yeah, it's pretty funny, actually, now that I think about it. Um, let's just checkmate. No, no, it's not checkmate. I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't understand chess. But now it's checkmate, though. Um, let's keep going. Okay, what am I not going to play in the cans? I already played the Grob. What about, let's play the Orangutan. This is a very good opening. Um, you, you just go B4 and Bishop B2 here. Probably Fabian was studying and not watching Twitch. Maybe. Who knows? But I do know that when we were doing our Botez Gambit speed run, the following GMs were watching it and enjoying it. Um, uh, Maxime Vash the Grav, uh, Jose Martinez, Wesley So, um, I think Jules Moussard. I, there, there were a lot of GMs watching it who were really enjoying it. So um, so definitely, definitely there are, um, there, there are GMs who enjoy watching the stream. 
So let's just think, how do I know that? Because I saw them in the list. Benjamin, of course, is always watching. I heard Jules Mustard when the guy's name is Musard. What do you mean? Yeah, I said Jules Must. Wait, what did I say? His, technically, his name is Jules Musard. But of course, because I play so many different chess players and um, you have to create files and, and give them nicknames, my nickname for Jules is, I call him Jules Mustard. Um, yeah. Go queen a4, hit the bishop and queen f4. Go here, target the bishop and the knight. Yeah, because you have to make files on the players, and so you have to remember it somehow. So generally, like when, when Chris and I, we work on chess, we make files for players, and it's like, there's generally a nickname involved. Uh, switch your Honda Civic to Maserati or something already? No, you guys. I actually love uh, just living like a normal person. So, no. Why would I ever buy a Maserati? Does it look like I want to? I want something to go wrong with my car, take it to the shop, and, and be out like $5,000 every time? I don't think so. That's not how you want to live life. Let's go checkmate on D8 here. Let's keep going. All right. Obviously, I'm not going to play E4 on move one. Um, let's get an ortho schnapps. He's going to go D5. Yeah, so we're going to play this. I told. I think I told chat earlier during the speed run. First time I ever saw the ortho schnapps was when uh, when I was helping Forsen just a little bit before his match against Hoffman Pog champs, and he showed me the, this ortho schnapps gambit idea. So I'm going to go knight C3 here. Okay, now I take the pawn. A normal person does not shop at Bloomingdale's. Really? I didn't think Bloomingdale's was all that special. Let's take. You have to do something with your money, right? Yes, you invest your money, you guys. You buy shares of Berkshire. That's what you do. Um, take the knight here. Maybe bishop b5 next move. Um, all right, I'm going to go bishop b5, hit the knight here. Bloomingdale's is expensive. Ah, okay. Go buy 10 shares of Berkshire A. Is it 600k yet or not? BRKA is what? 488,000. Yes. Yes, I'm going to go buy 10 shares, you guys. Yes, thank you. All right, let's take and play Knight F3 and D4 here. Yes. Good D4. Play <laughs> Bishop F4 and King G2 here. I'm the cheapest multi-millionaire on earth, you guys. I just enjoy life. I didn't grow up with much, so I'm sorry if I uh, if I don't feel the need to be flashy. Turn 85 and take the take the rook here on c6. Oh, there is a title Tuesday later that I will be playing in. Yeah. XTC didn't grow up as a millionaire, and look at him. Ah. How many how many bishops can I get? I can get six bishops, right? I can also get six rooks. Okay, obviously I'm not gonna play d4 on move one in the uh, candidates tournament. Um, no, I can't go e4 because I could actually play the French, and that would be a good way to lose 500 subs because there are players who could play it, like Nepo, Fabiano, etc. They could play the French, so I can't go e4. Because I can't risk losing 500 subs, having to get 500 subs. Um, what am I supposed to play here, actually? I think I'm going to go knight f3. So th this... Let's see. I think I'm going to play the Tory, the Tory attack with bishop g5 here. Okay, plays knight f6. Okay, so we're already outside of what's going to happen, kind of. So I'll go knight c3 here. Let's take and go e4. Oh, wait. What just... Wait, I'll go here and take... I saw that Forsen is offline today. Is he flying over to Florida to help me out with candidates prep? Not exactly. Go, what, he castled? What do you mean? What happened? He castled. What's the big deal? Do I shop at Costco? Yeah, of course I do. Go D5 here and HE5. Oh, he hung a... Pe what do you... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. He castled. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see your point. Whatever. Let's go knight g5 and just attack here. Queen h5 next move. I guess I'll take with the pawn and go for the quick kill with queen h5. Let's go here. Just end this game. We're almost... We're, okay, so we're up to 800. So we only have 2,200 more points to go.
I played an Ali Ekans defense earlier. I might still play it in the cannons. You never know. 11K Andy. I don't look at numbers, you guys. I'm sorry. I just stream and that's that. I mean, if you, if you become a view, if you become like you just obsess about numbers, I mean, it's just a bad thing. It's very unhealthy. Uh, I did end the boat test speed run gambit or the boat test gambit speed run at 2400. Will I reveal uh, Sam Shang is helping you prep after the candidates? Why would why would I reveal that Sam is helping me? Um, let's play E5 here. Very important first move. Um, now, what am I going to play here that I'm not going to play the candidates? Let's think about this. Ah, yes, of course, I'm not going to play the Philidor's defense. This is a very solid opening here. Um, <laughs> confirmed. Yeah, confirmed. Okay, let's take this. Actually, by the way, is quite bad already. Phila D is nuts. Okay, thank you, you guys. Thank you. Let's go night here. Oh, I already blundered, but whatever. Who cares? Let's go Bishop B4. <laughs> uh, well, let's just trade and go Queen E7 here. Yeah. I saw you shopping at Costco last Thursday. Um, Last Thursday would have been, what, the 7th? I wasn't at Costco last Thursday. Sorry, I wasn't. I was at Costco last um, last Tuesday, actually, because I flew back on the 5th. So exactly one week ago, I flew back. And Tuesday evening, I went to Costco and I bought bought my, my organic smoothie mix and everything else. No, actually, I'm not joking. I, I'm not joking. But he asked you for a photo. No, I mean, I feel so bad about yesterday because I went to shop at Publix. And I think I told the story, but there were a lot of people who weren't here. There was like this kid, he's like assistant manager or something um, at, at the Publix. And like when I went in, it was funny because he, he went out the door. I think he was like moving shopping carts or something. He went out and very quickly uh, he came back in and he just came up to me. He's like, hello. And I'm like, hi. Um, so that was kind of funny. But then then like probably five minutes later, I'm just shopping. He, he, I think he had something he was like helping with in the in the store. Um, and he's like, OK, are you are you know, are you Hikaru? And I'm like, yeah, and he's like, I watch your stream. And then I'm like, OK, cool. Nice. And um, and then I said to him, uh, if you just, you know, wait like five minutes, wait till I check out. I'll you know, I'll give I'll give you a picture or whatever you want. He's like, OK. And, and then and then like five minutes later, I go to check out. But he was like he wasn't there, which was really sad, really, really sad. Really sad. Let's go queen off one. 